Hey y'all, it's your girl Mecca back again with another video. I am super excited about this video because for the past couple of weeks, I have just he been hearing the Holy Spirit telling me to make this video about salvation and to help, you know, get his people saved. So I want to take you to scripture. If you turn to Romans chapter 10, and we're going to be reading verses 9 and 10. And it says, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. So that scripture is pretty much self-explanatory, right? It's literally saying that for you to be saved, you must do two things. The first thing is openly declare. That means with your mouth, you will speak out loud that Jesus is your Lord. So not only do you say it out loud, then the second thing, the second step is that you have to believe it in your heart that God raised him up from the dead. So it's simple, right? Because it's only two steps. But at the same time, that can be difficult for some people to believe that a man died and then three days later he rose up again just to save your life. So I don't know, you know, how many people out here, you know, God has to be saved. You know, if you feel that in your spirit where it's like, declare that, say that, you know, and it's nudging you and you just feel like, okay, this is the right thing to do. This is something that I should do. And that's the Holy Spirit speaking to you to become saved, to receive salvation. So I'm going to read it again. The, I'm going to read verse 10. That was verse 9 that I just broke down into two parts. So verse 10 says, and verse 10 is just explaining verse 9, right? It's just going a little bit more in depth about what verse 9 is actually saying. So verse 10 says, for it is by believing in your heart. That means you have to believe it with your heart that you are made then and only then that you are made right with God. And it is by openly declaring it out of your mouth, using your words, speaking, declaring your faith that you are saved. So if you feel led right now by the Holy Spirit to become saved, I would like for you to repeat after me. And this is a prayer of you receiving salvation. And, it, and you're just going to repeat after me. It is, dear Lord Jesus. I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart, to come into my life. I will trust you and I will follow you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. You should be rejoicing. You should be excited because you are saved. You are a believer. You are a child of God. And all of the angels are rejoicing in heaven with you. God is celebrating. Everyone is celebrating with you that you have now become saved and become a part of the body of Christ. So welcome, my brother. Welcome, my sister. God loves you and he wants nothing but the best for you. And he is just so, so happy that you chose him over any other idol, over any other thing. And you made that choice today. And it was the best decision that you've ever made in your life. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and so that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really proud of you, but most importantly, God is proud of you. I'll see you guys in the next video.